All right, let's take a quick look at the new task switcher. So in Windows 10, Microsoft has tried to adopt a strategy that will work well for both touchscreen devices as well as those using mouse and keyboard. So they've also introduced something called virtual desktops. So this button down here on the taskbar called task view, which you can enable or disable. So if you prefer to use keyboard shortcuts or if you normally use your device as a tablet um, and use the touch screen, you may not need that. But if you click on that, it's going to bring you into this task view, which enables you to open multiple desktops. You can actually, it looks like you have infinite, I believe Microsoft said, infinite number of desktops open at one time. So what that enables you to do is separate different things. So if maybe you have media playback handled on one desktop, you could have your work on the second desktop. So that would enable you to keep those things separate so it's easier to, uh, easier to focus on your work while you're doing that. What's great about the task view is that when you have multiple applications open at the same time, it's much easier to switch between those visually. So in the past, you'd have to go through the small icons at, on the bottom and look for the one that you want, kind of hunt and peck. Um, some people are really good at that. I personally like to see things a little bit more visually, a little bit larger. So if you go into task view, it's going to show you all of the different applications that are currently open. You can configure this so that it shows you all of the applications that are open on just the desktop that you're on right now, or on all of the open virtual desktops. Personally, I like to have this configured so that it only shows the applications that are open on my current desktop. The other thing that's great here is you can drag and drop applications between those different desktops. You could also right click and then say move to. So that's another way that you could do that. Right click, you could also go ahead and hit the close button if you'd like to close an application or you can hit the X above it. For those of you that prefer the old ways, you can still do things kind of the way that you might be used to. If you hold Alt and then press Tab, you can switch between the different apps that are open. This is exactly the same as it was in Windows, uh, Windows 8 and 8.1, very similar to Windows 7 as well. Lastly, let me go ahead and show you how to switch things around. So if you want to be able to see all of the open applications between the different desktops that are currently open on your system, uh, let me show you how to go ahead and do that. So once you go into the settings menu, if you go to system and then to multitasking. So you can change this here. So pressing alt tab shows windows that are open on all desktops. So now if I were to go ahead and move the settings app over to desktop two, when I press alt tab, I can still see the settings menu. If I were to go ahead and switch it so that it shows windows open only on the desktop I'm using, however, if I do that again, now we won't see that application any longer. So if you, or someone who likes to use a lot of different desktops, it might make it harder for you to find the application that you need using that option. However, if you wanna keep your work completely segregated from other things, that would probably be the best way to do it. You could also make it so that your taskbar only shows apps on the desktop that you're using or on all desktops. When you click on an app that's in a different desktop, it'll simply switch you over to that one. That's it for the task switcher. Thanks for watching.